What's up, y'all? Welcome back. What's up? What is up, you guys? Welcome back. Hey, everyone, guys. Welcome back to my channel. About the school cash. That's my little boo thing. Pretty brown skin, nigga. She not loop. What is up, you guys? And welcome back to my channel. So before we get into this video, make sure you guys like and subscribe. And we're about to get this thing going. So today, I basically have a list of things to do while you're stuck in the house or bored. I know that for the past couple of weeks, it's been crazy since this coronavirus came about. So I just want to give you guys a few things or a list of things that you can guys that you guys can do while you're stuck in the house. I'm going to give you guys a few examples. We'll show you guys a few examples with those with that list that I have just to make just to give you guys a little insight on things and everything like that. So yeah, we're about to get this thing going like ASAP. ASAP. So the first thing that you can do, well, this is not in a particular order. I just wrote it down, basically. So the first thing that you can possibly do while you're stuck in house, of course, is to basically binge watch movies or watch TV. Like, binge watch your favorite shows. Like, you guys can literally... I know that can get, that can get a little boring after a while, like, always watching TV. And you become lazy and then you don't want to do nothing after that. Binge watch movies and TV is the first thing. Netflix, Hulu, it's a lot of different um, networks out there that can provide that for you. And if you don't have that, if you have like DVDs and stuff like that, cassette tapes, there you go. The second thing on the list is play video games. Now that's something your girl does all the time, okay? Play a little Call of Duty here and there. I have a little few phone games computer games uh, you guys name it play video games that will help pass time by as well now the third thing play is another activity you guys can do with family member without family member depending on like who you live with and stuff like that versus depending on who you guys live with and stuff like that I don't know if you guys live by yourself, with a roommate, with family, but you guys can play card games. One of my favorites. Play card games. You can play board games just to keep yourself active. And if you're, like I said, living with family, keep everyone in the circle, in your household, um, active as well. And keep the energy uplifting. The fourth thing on my list is... Talking on the phone, chatting with your friends, your family members, boyfriends, girlfriends, husbands, wives, whatever your statue is or status is of your relationship, go for it. Everybody can talk on the phone for hours with their family members, friends, about basically anything. So I will suggest that to get blow some steam off to like loosen up and to yeah, get that going. The fifth thing on my list is you can watch YouTube videos. Same as binge watching, but you guys can literally watch YouTube. YouTube videos, YouTube have a lot of content, like different category contents that you guys can look up. Like for example, my video right here that you guys are tuned into. You can watch dance completions, compilations, or whatever that word is. Um, cooking style your favorite celebrities like you guys can do a lot with youtube so i would suggest you guys to look things up on youtube to pass time by and not for you to be so bored yeah the sixth thing i have do arts and crafts for example you guys can sketch you guys can color you guys can knit you guys can paint like there are so many things you can do with arts and crafts that you guys can really get like into that are really fun like i know a lot of people say well i don't know how to draw i don't know how to paint this it doesn't matter if you know how just do it just to have something to do it's really fun you can be really creative even if you don't know how to draw or paint or anything like that that time will really pass and that activity is really like I wouldn't say it's really time consuming because you really need to take your time with certain things when you're doing them. 
But yeah, that will be an extremely exciting thing for you guys to do. Now, the seventh thing on my list is you guys can cook at home. Like, you guys can learn how to cook at home if you don't know how to cook. And you can also spend time with family making recipes, learning recipes, learning how to do knife skills and stuff like that. The basic things. You can have one person, basically, like, let's put it like this. You have the executive, the sous chef. You have your line cooks, your prep cooks, and your servers. You can do it like that. I like you guys are in a restaurant and basically, like, get everyone, get everyone, like, active in the kitchen. Like, everyone can come together. Somebody can start prepping the veggies for the dish. Somebody can start prepping. I mean, somebody can be washing the dishes while you guys are cooking. Somebody can be leading the kitchen and telling everybody what they should be doing. Example right there, which will be fun. So, <laughs> I'm sorry. The eighth thing on my list is l listen to music. I have a few... I have basically all Chris Brown albums, literally all of them. I probably except for one, except for one. Listen to music, you guys. Like, pop your headphones in. Listen to your favorite artists. Like, to literally, you could do listen to music, listen to music, pop, rock, R and B, rap, whatever you're into, country. Listen to. Get rid of some of that built up, like, anxiety and depression and stuff. Like, get yourself into moods to do things so that way you guys won't be too stuck on when it's going to pass by. Because the more you be active with yourself, the more time will actually go by and you won't realize it until you be like, dang, I've been busy. Whew. The ninth thing, and I think a lot of us should do this or yeah spring cleaning spring clean your house i know there are people who have a lot of things in the house that they need to get rid of they need to organize you know stuff like that spring clean spring clean and air the house out because i know that the houses need a little you know fresh air in it due to all the close windows for the winter time and stuff that's if you get winter in your state yeah the 11th thing ah i lied i skipped the whole number i went from 9 to 11 the 10th thing that you guys can do is a spa day women treat yourselves at home face mask soak in the tub do your nails like relax your bodies like spa days are really are really lit at home spa days i'm not gonna say spa yeah at home spa days get used to doing at home spa days because they are really relaxing literally i do those like once in a while when i'm having like a long week or whatever and eh, yes and you know what to use when you're doing the little spa day dr tills especially if you're soaking in the tub dr tills dr tills the 12th thing Listen, I'm just skipping numbers, you guys. I gotta stop that. The 11th thing. Now, this is the 11th thing that you guys can do. Get some rest. Like, I know a lot of people have been working extra hard. They haven't been getting that much sleep. So, I would would recommend you guys getting some sleep. You can't really catch up on sleep, from what I heard. But you can begin to rest your body to from all that work and stress that you guys been in. in compacting on yourselves that's not even a word to even be using in that sentence but i used it anyway the okay the 12th thing that you guys can do to keep yourself active from being bored is working out yoga meditating like get to working i know a lot of people are going to say like well i don't have workout equipment i don't have this and that the third hey you don't have to have most of that stuff in your house for you to work out you can basically do basically start with a basic workout yoga all you need is if you don't have a floor mat i would suggest placing if you have carpet would be awesome um i would place a blanket on the ground and do it from there like namaste 
I don't know any yoga poses, so I can't even do those. Like crunches and stuff. Get active, you guys. Get active. Thirteenth thing is to rearrange your house around or do housework. Rearrange your house around or do housework. Thirteenth thing on my list is to basically rearrange your house or do catch up on housework that you guys have been like putting back because of like so much work and stuff like that. Rearrange it all around. Your living room, you can rearrange that. Your bedroom, your kids room if you have kids. Um, you can get some painting done that you guys need to get done. Like, ha, ah, beauty in one sentence. You guys can also, eh, Scratch that. The 14th thing is read books, magazines, read a catalog. I get like a catalog from Alta all the time. Literally, all the time. Every month, I'm going to say I get at least, depending on what they're sending, I get a catalog. This is a book about cooking. Because I'm a culinary arts student. I know you guys are probably wondering like, what? Yes. So, yes. Reading. Magazines, books. Like, educate yourselves with things that you guys want to know. Learn about a new product. Learn about a new recipe. Learn about the different diseases that's out here. Coronavirus, for example. Learn. Just learn. The more you learn and engage in reading, the better off you'll be in the future. Let's say that. Let's see. The 15th thing on my list is try baking desserts. Now, I know a lot of people are not really into the baking thing, but get into it. Get Learn how to bake your favorite dessert. Cheesecake, I know a lot of people love that. Learn how to bake your favorite cakes, cookies, your grandma's favorite recipes of her baking and stuff. Learn those things so you guys can stay on board and stay active. The 16th thing is meal plan. I know a lot of people been cutting the meal plan back and say, hey, I'm gonna do it this week, I'm gonna do it this week. No, start your meal plan while you're quarantined in the house or just bored and have nothing else to do. Meal plan, meal prep, do it all. And get it going so that way you can have meal set for the week versus cooking every day and wasting food. The 17th thing is play sports or learn how to play a sport. I know we right now we can't really go outside because it's like curfews and stuff like that. But there are times like you do have to stay isolated and stuff like that. But if you're at home, I know a lot of people who are who have like big houses and yards and stuff. You guys can probably play like not for example, no baseball, no tennis, nothing like that, but there are like smaller sports you guys can play you play catch it's not really a sport but it's like an activity to do um yeah try to play a sport learn how to play a sport i know people want to say well how am i going to learn something if i can't go outside well just take if you want to learn how to play basketball if you have a basketball just dribble the ball around the house don't break anything don't break anything because i don't want you guys to get in trouble dribble the ball around the house if you're playing tennis Go on the side of your house or in the back of your house if you have a garage or whatever and hit the tennis ball against that. Like, stuff like that. Simple things, but not too major for you guys to get in trouble. I don't want you to get in trouble at all. Now, <laughs> the 18th thing is spend time with pets. I know a lot of people have pets and they've been working a lot and stuff like that. Like, give your dog, instead of taking your dog to the pet shop and getting your dog washed, groomed, and trimmed and stuff, try to do that stuff yourself. Like, wash your dog, give it some good loving, show them that you love them to death. Um, try to trim them. You can also, back to the YouTube videos, you can watch videos on how to wash your dog, how to trim your dog, how, how to take care of their fur and everything. Example. Yeah. Now, we're going to go to the next thing on my list, and that is, Get active on social media. Like, everybody has social media accounts, whether it's TikTok, whether it's Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, a whole bunch of social media pages that is about, that I can't keep track of. 
try to stay active. And when I say active, like write, you know, some statuses. Uh, and snap it up on Instagram. Like take pictures and post it on Instagram or uh, Snapchat. That's daily videos, pictures, whatever you want to do with that. Just try to stay active. Try to meet new people through social media versus going out and introducing yourself to people to avoid the corona. The next thing on my list is be your own photographer. Back with the Instagram and back with the Snapchat. Flick it up in the house. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, girl, you're working it. Yes, I don't care if you're in the house and you're trying on 150 outfits. Snap the pictures of those 150 outfits. Or whatever one you like the most. Snap the, f be your own photographer. Background. Eh. Mm. Mm. Well, that wasn't a good pose, but yeah. Photographer, yeah. be your own photographer. Snap them pictures, girl or guy. Yes, get it going. Now, the next thing on my list is pranks. I know a lot of people do a lot of pranks, but pranks are great. You can do that little poopy challenge that I've seen a lot of people doing where they're taking pudding and putting it on their hands and asking either their kids or family members or whatever, friends, and asking them to go get tissue and then wiping the uh, chocolate on their hands and then they're catching the reactions and stuff. That would be a great prank, literally. Pranks, you guys. Prank those family members, friends, whoever you live with, roommates, prank them. Not too bad, though, to the point it gets very brutal. Next thing on my list is paint your nails. Like, women, I know we have a lot of nail polish. A lot of, a lot of, a lot of like, things to help take care of our nails. Do your own nails. My nails are not done, but file them down. Clean them out. Paint them. Get it going. Another thing... What paint your nails is, no, actually, I'm going to scratch that because I think I already said that. Actually, no, I didn't. I didn't. Skincare routines. Hair routines. Like, do those as well with that. It's go with pampering and stuff like that. But, yeah, do that as well. Now, the last thing on my list, which would be the 23rd thing, dance, people. Like... <laughs> Dance. Get moving in the house. Get to moving. Hey, wait. Oh, say. Yes, dance. Dance. Make yourself happy again. Dance complete. They got those all those little dance videos. New dances that it came out with. The Savage Challenge. Um, I think it's a wall challenge. Don't quote me. Um, that dance where uh, that, that dance, get to dancing, get active. And that will be all for the things to do while you're stuck in the house for this quarantine situation. I hope you guys like this video. Make sure you guys like and subscribe and suggest some things. I'm sorry. Suggest some things that you guys would like me to do more often. Like, whether it's videos like this, whether it's cooking, <laughs> you name it. But your girl is about to get off. I'm hungry, so I'm about to go cook. Crazy thing is, during this whole quarantine thing, I still had to go to work, which sucks. No, it don't suck. It's, I like it. Scratch. But that is it for this video. Make sure you guys like and subscribe, and your girl is out.